What's up everyone? My name is Syndicill and welcome back to Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Today we are doing the second magic stone needed in order to power up Mornstar. In order to get to the second magic stone, we have to actually go around this one star that actually goes around Autumnia. So it actually travels around the entire island. So you have to be on the boat, unfortunately, to be able to access it. And I believe that is it out there in the open world. Oh, is it actually turning around? Oh, it did. Okay, so it actually does a little bit different of a route than I thought it did. I actually thought it went around the entire area of Autumnia, but not quite. But hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And also don't forget to hit that thumbs up as well, letting me know that you're enjoying the content. And let's check out what this is all about. Ah, it's a g -g -g ghost ship. So don't be silly, Swain. I'm sure there's a much simpler explanation. The girl is correct. It is no ghost ship. So, what the heck is it then? It's a ghost galleon. Like a ghost g -g galleon? Look closely. There are many cannons protruding from the sides, are there not? It is one of the legendary and most fearsome warships constructed for the conflicts of the ancients. Or the ghost of one, at least. So it's even worse than a ghost ship. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that would be shipmate. Worse than the worstest nightmare you've ever had, are. Mm -hmm. Whose voice is that? They who come aside the black porpoise unbidden in their voyages at the bottom of Davy Jones's locker. This is the law of the seas. Davy who? I'm Jippy Mun. You're thinking of someone else. Be I? Oh, that's terrible rude I am. Forgive me, shipmate. Or oh, what be I be I saying? Just him, on deck with you. Run these scurvy dogs through. You'd never do well, ye automation ye. So this is basically a mini boss before the actual boss. So you have to take care of Jetsim before we actually get to the boss. And this is literally all it is for this entire area. Now he is resistant to physical attacks. Try to not waste your MP because you are going to need it for the next little bit. I was trying to defend, but oh well, that's fine. Thankfully, this one's not too hard. I'm doing quite a bit of damage, but really wish I was doing more in the way of damage, but it is what it is. I've got to swap, unfortunately. Please heal, please heal, please heal. All right, good. So I got the heal off just in time, and that is the first mini boss. Like I said, not that bad for a mini boss. That being said, the actual boss is coming. Oh, we're shot there. Ne'er do well in automation. No good pile of nuts and bolts, more lark. Ain't it though? Proper hunk of junk it was. Funny looking too. Oh, you're no livy livered landlubbers, I'll give you that. But the nightmare ain't over yet. Why it's barely begun. <laughs> it's that voice from before. Who, who is that? Show yourself! <laughs> What's the matter, girl? Let the gulls take your eyes. I'd be right here. <laughs> huh? Ah, it's him! <laughs> you gave Jetsham a shot of scrubbery. You have backbone, I'll lay to that to you. But not a bit as much backbone as me and my scurvy crew here. We've gone from kill to stop shell, ain't we, boys? Yeah, I can't wear the whippy skipper every to sell the seven souls. <laughs> I'll make no bones about it, Captain. You're a regular laugh riot. <laughs> Cracky wasn't that flipping funny. What are you people anyway? You're not really skeletons, are you? Well, now, shipmate, I'd be the dreaded Captain Crossbones. Skipper and mate of this here tub we call the Black Porpoise, and scars of every inch of ocean from here to eternity. Our right, Captain, we have a fine way of words. Tis poetry, Captain, pure poetry. Now then, state your purposes. What business have you with me and my cutthroat crew? We're looking for the three magic stones, and the map brought us here. 
<laughs> Here to rob us of our treasures, are ye, my by thunder? And not just any treasure, but the very jewel given to us by the wizard king himself? Or are you plucky ones? I'll give you that. Huh? So he... He's got the flipping thing, has he? It would have been him, wouldn't it? Flippin' typical, that is. Ye sea dogs value our treasures more than our very lives themselves. Why'd we die for the least little trinket amongst them? If we weren't already dead, of course. <laughs> another captain, another just fit to slay a man. I'll die all over again. Oh, call me silly, but I'm starting to like these skeletons. This swollen headed fool is a legendary captain. Pah! The stone is the greatest treasure in all of our hands full of plunder. You'll have to prize it from me, old cold, dead hands, you scurvy dogs. But, but we need it. Whatever it takes, we have to get it. <laughs> Whatever it takes, you say. Very well, lad. If you want it, you best come and get it. Them's the rules of the sea, haven't you? Ha! Yep, this is our boss. Not much of a, uh, interesting dungeon at all to go with this. All you had to do was just get to him and fight his little mini boss, and then boom, you're there. So, before we get too far into this, swap the Swain. He's actually got a really good item that we actually want to steal from him. And I got it. Nice. His Night Blade is actually really good. Now, He's very strong against physical attacks, but other than that, it's not really that bad. But we're just gonna kind of, you know, go all in with this. All right, we're gonna use Dinoceros, I think, for most of this. Hopefully, it won't be too hard of a fight. Now he is weak to fire, and he is weak to light. Of course, I'm just gonna keep missing. Plunder. Three damage, that's all I did. That dirty cheat keeps pinching your HP, Ollie boy. Make sure to whack him sharpish if he looks like he's trying it again. It's the only way you'll stop him. Uh-oh. That's great, isn't it? So every single time he does that, you're going to have to try to uh, get him down. As, or attack him as fast as possible, which I think this is my fastest attacker. Oh, that kind of hurt. Okay, I gotta swap. You know what? I'm gonna... Where's my spells? There they are. <laughs> I'm gonna try to see how much this does. That was 110. Uh-oh. So Hammock Hack just puts him to sleep. How about Fireball? How much does this do? Just 40. Okay. Not as much as I was thinking it would do. I think Arrow of Light's better. Darn it. That does so much damage. And it does heal him quite a bit. Oh, man. Nice. Grab these. Yeah, I think honestly what I'm just going to do is just keep, you know, using my arrow of light spell because that's actually doing quite a bit. Who's that hitting? Of course that hits me! I hate when they hit me with it, because I can't... I, I'm not fast enough to be able to defend. Uh, this is my last arrow of light. Okay. I, in all honesty, that I did a lot of damage with that. 
Oh, there's a golden. This should end it. Burning Heart should end it, because he is weak to fire. Oh yeah, that super ended it. Nice. So really not a hard fight, you just gotta be very, very careful. He can do some very rough attacks, let me tell ya. Dinosaur's very close to being able to metamorphosize just a little tiny, tiny bit more. Ooh, what is Ray alive? He's restores speaker's health and cures ailments. That actually sounds really good. Cost 14 MP. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of that for that. Nice. <laughs> Arg, no, Captain, don't die on us, Captain. Arr, what do you mean, lads? I'd be dead already. Captain. Ah, this is all you're doing, you meddling scallywags. Pa, you call us thieves, you attack us, and then you have the god accuse us of meddling? Worms! Wait, I don't think they're bad people. People? Ah, it's been a while since we've been called that lad. An Asian fact. Aye, this it has. Remember the golden old age? Slip of a sloop. We started our piratin' and all them years back are. Oh, talk amongst yourselves, why don't you? I remember the captain in them days? What a terror. Drove us like slaves he did, till he was honored by the wizard king himself. I feared of nothing we were. Twas a golden age for men of fortune. Horizon, horizon, the sea was so big, blue oyster. We've been sailed the black porpoise to world's end and beyond. Ah, but we wasn't destined to live forever. Time caught up with us, sure as the tide. Aye, that it did. And then we was not but salt-soaked souls. Be calmed on the seas of the Safterloft. Until the captain came back to us, that is. Just as we always knew he would. And when we took to the waves once more, our never happier day it did. Never indeed. What could be a cutthroat crew could have wished for in death? Aye, we've been lucky indeed. Truly I have no regrets. Nay, not a one. Our not even you, but... Oh my god, I'm tired of talking in that stuff. I'm sorry, y'all. My throat. Aye, Captain, we've outdone yourself. Aye, wet me pyre pads. Aye, aye, aye. Ah, so there you have it, stone thieves. We've had ourselves a fine... Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. Anchor's away! Well, they seemed happy. Yeah, seems like things worked out alright for them in the end, eh? I can't think of worse ways to go. I suppose you're right. Do they really think they're gone for good, though? Somehow they didn't seem like the types to hang up their cutlasses and settle down to a nice, peaceful afterlife. And now we are done with that little part of the game. Well, the second stone is officially ours. But now, we need to head to the third one, which we need Tengri for. So I'm going to head back to basically Ding Dong Dell, grab Tengri, and then we're going to head to the next one. So you can see where the star is on the next one. That's actually where we're heading next. So I will meet you there. All right, here we are. Uh-oh. Ning to you. You cannot be entering without the permission of the elder of the village of Yul, yes? You do not know of where I am speaking. Go simply south, yes? Well, we can't go in there, unfortunately, but eventually we can. But this is a completely brand new area, so why don't we, as we're heading south to the village, why don't we grab all the items here? First thing we're going to do is summon Tengre and grab that forge point that you can see right there. Actually, it'd be easier if you just kind of fly. Can I? Where can I disembark? Right oh, there. Alright, let's get this first forge point, which is two cold stones. 
Now, sad part is we are going back up to the next level, which is right up here. I know, it's kind of weird. We just needed to go down there to get that forge point. I'm going to go ahead and cast Seek Fortune here. Right around this corner, looks like there is a chest over here on the side. I'm going to try not to get into too many fights, but we'll see. This is a Whirligig Gem. Okay, directly east from that last treasure, there is a forge point right up here on top of this little tiny heel. So let's go ahead and grab it. It is two pieces of teal wood. Very nice. Well, I mean, you can see two items on the the map. I actually think... Oh, wow. Well, you can actually see where they are on the map map. I have a feeling that it's right here then yeah it's right here okay this is an iron diamond very nice item now let's actually head to this little area right over here because remember on the seek fortune spell there was one right over here somewhere so i actually realized that i believe it's right down here yes here it is it is a dark cloud gem and then i believe that there is a cave right here yes there is Let's check out this cave real quick. I mean, we are a little cold, but it's fine. We've got a chest right here. Let's see what this chest is. It is a Snow White ice cream. Very nice. And I do believe that there is a green chest in here as well. I just don't know where it is. And yes, Oliver and them are very cold. I know. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I've already found the vantage point. Oh, there it is. Way up there, right there. Wow. Go all the way to the very back and uh, you'll find it. Jeez, Snowblower Gym. There is a forge point right over here. Remember where we got that iron diamond? Yeah, this is basically where this one is. It is a snowflake. Oh, we actually got our first encounter. All brand new enemies here. We got Jabber Guppy, the Mangler Fish, and an Ice Maiden. Look at that Ice Maiden. That Ice Maiden looked really cool. All brand new enemies, but look at this. We are extremely powerful right now. Like, we are just overpowered at this point in the game, so nothing too crazy here. Okay, our next item is right here in this little corner. It is a Jumbo Star Drop. Really nice. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. Getting back attacked from Messy Plessy and Lotus Bud Buds. So we got to be a little bit careful here just until we can... Get our there. Now I'm just gonna let them all out attack and let them just go, 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 go. Actually really want a messy Plessy. I think they're really cool looking, but I did say I wanted a messy Plessy and I actually got one, didn't I? Pretty darn cool. There. He has officially hit his max level. You know what? We'll just leave it at that. messy -o. Now, at this point, Dinosauros Please evolve into Des Destro. Destroyoceros. De Destro. I don't know how to say it, but there it is. Finally getting to evolve after all this time. Didn't that just look cool? And now look at its stats. This is after evolution. Yeah, it's it's more powerful than this, and it's gonna be leveling up. Yeah, it, it gonna get crazy. <laughs> Things are gonna get very very broken very very fast, and I really have to to go ahead and just do this on him. Nope, he needs to hit level 30 first. You need to hit 27. You have everything at this point, but I'm like half tempted to just like wait on it. But you know what? Let's go ahead and evolve this guy on up into its final form. We want the Bone Brigader. Doesn't that just look cool? We have faced one of these before actually, but this is the one that we are wanting to get. And I'm going to wait on that for just a little while longer. Next item is right up here. It is a breeze cake. Pretty cool item. Okay, I think we're gonna have Tengri drop us off right here. I think. 
Yes, there is a hidden glade right here. Crazy enough, there are two people here that I, I don't even know how. Can I even spring the lock? I can barely spring the lock. A jumbo star drop. I believe that that is, is that red? Yeah, that's red, okay. And a sarsaparilla sundae. Oh look, there's a green chest right over there. Let's see, where is the vantage point? Right there, it's actually just just a little bit to the north of the chests. And look, a roly-poly gem. Pretty cool. And that's all that's in here. I think we actually got all the things that were in this little area. We're not quite done yet with all of the exploration, but we're getting close. There is this forge point right here. Let's go ahead and grab it. It is a snowflake. Gotta love the snowflake. Okay, we're calling Tengre once again. There's a little spot. I believe it's right... Right. Okay, let's let's drop off right here. There is a forge point right here, so let's grab it first. That's two pieces of teal wood. There's also a chest. I don't know where it exactly is. I think it's up on this next ledge. The one problem with trying to get the items here is they're on ledges. That one is a handful of chocolate bonbons. Okay, I see where this one is. I'm just not sure how to get to it. And this should be the last one of this little area. I just gotta figure out how to get to it. I think I found the right spot. It looks like maybe you could just walk up to it? Oh, it's right here. Okay, Cold Stone is the last item on this little area. Now, there is some other little islands out and about. So we're just gonna go to those two. First little island right here, this is called Tiny Tim Island. We've got a little chest right over here. Let's go and grab it. It is 1,000 guilders. Very nice. There's also what's well, on the next island, so we gotta use Tengri once again to go to the next island. Alright, on the second island, let's go down here and grab the next item, which is. A pirate's cutlass, very nice. Look at this, new enemies once again. Clickety clank LX, wimpy foul. Wimpy foul, huh. And a cock denser. Let's check out Dean and let's just see how powerful he has actually gotten. Thunderstorm. Oh, we gotta be really careful with the bone brigader because of, oh, of course. Because of the Bone Brigader being just evolved, these guys are actually giving us some trouble here, and I am having some trouble. Wow, okay. Well, let's, uh... Let me swap to Carnage. I actually kind of completely forgot that they had just went back to level 1, so... Crap. 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 Bad. Okay. I don't like being confused. It's not a very good thing. And... Dinosauros hit 3. <laughs> The stairs, de whatever it's called, it's three. Bone Brigader is now six. Everything's kind of starting to come back up again. There's a forest point right here with a blizzard bloom. Pretty cool. That's a lot. Whoa. Crap. Well, I was going to try and call Tengri, but never mind. All right, now this island here is a very interesting island. It is called Jack Frost Playground. It's actually a really cool island, honestly. Let's seek fortune after I heal myself. So we got a couple chests here and also a forge point that we see. Let's start with the forge point, shall we? We've got a fog drop. Pretty good item to start off with. And of course, more fights. Adam and Tiger. God, we haven't faced one of these in a long, long time. We faced it in a bounty quite a while back, if you remember. Our next item is right here. It is a frosty flan. And then there's a forge point just chilling right over here. Is that Adam and Tiger coming after us? Doesn't look like it. Okay. That one right there is two blizzard blooms. And then I believe that there was a chest. Yeah, there's a chest at the front. Let's grab that. All the way in the middle of this little area is a suit of pure steel armor. 
Now, also, I just want to point this out. There is a forest glade in the middle of this entire island. I'm going to try to get to it to the best of my ability without getting too many more fights. There it is. Yep, got a bunch of forest glades, let me tell you. Two chests right here. Unfortunately, one is purple. Kind of, or no, actually, no. Neither of them are purple, are they? Frosty flan and snow white ice cream. There's also, there it is, right there. There it is. Okay. Got it. And it is a water seal. Pretty nice. Now, thankfully, that's all of the items here on this little island. And there is one more island that we need to go and get. We're going to stop here at the forage point and grab a lump of raw steel. There is also one other item here, which is over here on the western side, which I know exactly where this one is. There it is. It is a misty shroud. Now that is all of the exploration items so far. We are done with all of those. Good grief. I know it was a lot. Now, let's head to Yule, which is a brand new town here on this brand new isle of this continent right here. Pretty cool little continent, let me tell you. It's a snowy little continent. So let's check this out. Whoa, I almost went too far. Drop off right here. And let's see if we can get inside that grotto. If I can get inside. Wow, this place is amazing! It sure is! Look at the lights coming through the snow! It's beautiful! And look at those big fluffy things! I've never seen one before! What are they? Them? Oh, they're th tomtes, aren't they? You only get them by here in the Winter Isles. Everywhere else is too warm for them, see? Really? Wow, they're so cute! Yeah, yeah, they're lovely, but can we talk about this inside? I think I can feel my blood turning to ice. Oh, look at that emotion. Freezing my bits off I am, brr. Yeah. Also, it's pretty crazy, but look at all of the errands and the pieces of heart that we can get here. That's before we even do the main quest. And I actually think we'll probably do those first, honestly. Crazy enough. Well, let's actually go ahead and just get the uh, errands while we're here. Oh, you heard it last. I was beginning to think my predictions were incorrect. They weren't, of course. Huh? You mean you've been waiting out here in the cold for us? I think you'll find it was with good reason. I need you to help me with some more of my research. Flip bun, does he ever never flipping stop with you? Alright, so he needs us to find examples of creatures. The first travels atop a blue flower. The second is a proud creature that has found its niche in the glittering grotto. And the third piles snow upon its head. I'm not exactly sure what they are. I'm actually going to have to look up what they are, but I'll find out here very soon. But let's go ahead and get our pieces of heart that are here. This one has confidence, which we can take back to the fairy ground and complete that one. Now let's go up here and grab this piece of heart. It's actually pretty crazy. We needed to come here to get the pieces of heart that we needed to go and finish the errands that we weren't able to finish yet. But I didn't want to come here until this point, until we had the other two magic stones. This is where we're going to get the third magic stone. And it's a real doozy, let me tell you. I wanted to get the easy ones out of the way. Let's talk to... Oh, there's a chest right there. Item with Feather Phoenix. Pretty nice. Let's talk to... Is it the guy? Yes, yeah, the guy. Peddling our wares here. I've made up my mind. Come on, let's go. What? But we can't. But they can must. We must. They must leave. What is the, oh, the belief? He's lost his belief this time. Um, I don't have any belief. No, I don't have any belief yet. Uh, I think it's her that actually has it. What do you have? You have... I did not see it. Kindness. This is the kindness that we were needing for the errand in Ding Dong Dell. Sweet. All right, now that we got that taken care of, there is a blue chest right here. Let's go ahead and grab it. I mean, we might as well grab these while we're here. We got a blunt gem. Pretty cool. Oh, there's a pot right here. I didn't even see this pot. This guy, or this girl right here has got a request. 
What is it? 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 Snowzy swimsuit. Oh, okay. We'll have to get that one later. Belief. All right. So here's the belief. Here's the belief that we need in order to finish that one errand. Oliver looks like he's like freezing his butt off. Look at that. We've got five of the eight pieces of heart. That's actually pretty crazy if you think about it. Bum, ba -da -ba -bum, bum. We've still got one other errand we need to grab, which is right in the one little house right there. Well, let's give you some belief. All right. Well, now, let's see. We get a bottle of Sprite Dew, 1,000 guilders, three stamps. I mean, stamps are stamps, right? Now let's go in here and let's see just exactly what this person is wanting. Uh, he needs restraint, which is crazy because we have held restraint for so long. We've had it for so darn long. And now we actually get to give it to somebody. Isn't that crazy? I see our good friend Horace sitting right over there too. I think we'll talk to our good friend Horace as well. Three Snow White ice creams, 1,000 guilders, three more stamps, and there you go. Let's talk to Horace. Hello, Oliver. Enjoying the snow? And what about the Aurora? Amazing, isn't it? It sure is. I never saw anything like it before. But it's so flippin' cold out here, Mun. How the heck can you stand around gobbing at the sky in that chill? I don't feel the cold, do I, stupid? But I still ended up coming inside, I suppose. Of course you did. It's cold enough to freeze your ghoulies off out there, Mun. Warm in here, though, ain't it? Funny, since it's made out of snow. These igloos were built up by the snow people, the Tomte. They say that it's the warmth in the Tomte's heart that keeps their igloos so cozy and warm. Could it be true, you know? I reckon them walking fur piles are almost as friendly as we fairies. Not quite, of course, but close. You should try their ice stew. A bowl in that if the comfort of a nice warm igloo is an experience you'll never forget. Ice stew? Yes, it's a hearty stew with an icy bite. It's made from these those flowers there. What are they called again? I can't seem to remember. Let's make your challenge for this time, shall we? Go on, tell me what the ice flyers in front of me are called. They're definitely in the wizard's companion somewhere. Come and talk to me when you find out. Um, oh god, what is it? They're blizzard blooms, because we just had some. Let's talk to them again. The flowers, in yeah, blizzard bloom. Yes, that was it. That was what they were called. Blizzard blooms grow all over this region. A lot of the creatures even carry them around. Oh, I need to give you a new spell, don't I? How about something to help you in battle? Cloudburst spell. Interesting. Neato! Thanks, Horus. I'm sure that'll come in real handy. You'll probably use Cloudburst more for its ability to nix all your enemies than for the damage it does. It's perfect for wizards who don't like playing catch the fireball, you know? Beginners. Heh <laughs> Sounds right up your street, eh, Ollie boy? I tried to mix Frostbite and Cloudburst together once to see if I could make it snow. Did it work? It's sort of. Well, it was more like hail, really. Great big razor sharp hail. Ah, it's so nice to see the snow again. It reminds me of something, though. I can't think what. If only I could remember. Don't fret, Mun. You're a ghost, ain't it? Bound to be some memory loss involved in the engulment process. I'm sure it was nothing important. I hope you're right. Sorry, I got a bit distracted there. I think I'll go and climb a mountain or something to clear my head. See you! We are at our new spell, and how about another item while we're here? It's a slice of see-through pie. Okay, we're gonna talk to this guy right here. Yeah, this guy right here. He's got some pretty good formulas that we would love to have, let me tell you. Let's check out the recipes we just got as well. Snowdrop bonbons, which are better than what we've had. Unfortunately, we can't make them yet. Fruit flans. Patty cake, sarsaparilla sundae, pie on the bone, snow white ice cream, hammer of justice. That actually sounds good. I need a tower toppler. Tainted claws, ice queen claws, royal armor, a blessed helm, which I can make one of, which I believe I shall. A crimson fang. That actually sounds really cool. Deep blue scale, which I can make two of. I actually... Uh, well, you know what? I'm not going to make any of those. And that's it. Cool. There's all of the ones that we could make. All right, cool. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I believe that that's all of the stuff. I mean, there's still items that I haven't gotten yet here in the town. But 
I think we'll save the rest of the items and everything for the next time. And I've also got to figure out exactly what Darwin wants. Not really exactly sure. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up as well, letting me know that you're enjoying the content. And I will catch you next time.